Hey everybody, it's Lucari Luke, and we're we're back to playing Let's Play Super Mario World. And today we're gonna go into the Vanilla Dome, which has no vanilla, just like Donut Plains had no donuts. But this shouldn't be bad because this is an underground level, but no auto scrolling, so it's fine by me. Ah, there we go. Nothing like a good fire flower to get your day going breakfast and I'm recording this just one second minute time interval after uh, after I recorded episode 4 yeah that episode wasn't too exciting so I thought I'd do another one today that's what I said yesterday I'm like well episode 2 wasn't that good so we'll just make episode 3 and so I did do episode 3 would you go in the... Okay, well, we're already off to a good start. Um, there we go. That's one way to do it. So... Oh! My god, Red Switch Palace! Do you know how to get there? Yes, I do know how to get there. There's not... There's, there's not gonna be as much... <coughs> Maybe I should pay attention. There's not gonna be as much confusion right now. But, you know, this could be- I need just heard me hit my mic with my thumb. Alright, now Mario can fly! He's on top of the world and I missed the one- Oh! Skills there! Oh man, Mario the stuntman. Halfway point and, you know, more uninteresting commentary coming your way! Woo! Isn't this exciting? Why did I do that? Okay, up we go. Ah! Uh, whoa, that was weird. He like glitched through the wall, man! Anyway, so we're still holding- Oh, and it disappeared. It blew up in our hands. That's what she said. Anyway. Oh, there's a really steep slope. Mario's mortal enemy, steep slopes. Ever since Mario was a child, he once encountered a steep slope. And now, his life has changed forever. And he also got hit by that buzzy- Oh, if I hit the tape there, that would have been a- That would have been a, a cherry to fire moment there, but, you know, what am I talking about? Mm, half the time, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we're going to go to the Vanilla Dome- Vanilla Noodle Dome, too. The stuttering up here. And this is what we're- Oh. No, that's not Death Water, but, no, that's just- plain old water that has no animation in it. And there's some fish, and these fish are so weak we can just run into them, kill them. That's right, Mario can run into things and kill them. Mario is so... hardcore like that. And divine, so... Yeah, Vanilla Dome... Vanilla... Vanilla Dome. Vanilla Dome. There's no vanilla here, there's just... water. So might as well call it the Water Dome. Anyway. Water dome. That doesn't sound. That doesn't sound interesting. Vanilla dome. Looks like. Is there a chocolate level? Yes, there is a chocolate level. And there's also a. I don't know. I re I really need to think of something clever before I actually start spewing it out of my mouth. That's what she said. No, that didn't even make sense either. So we're gonna grab these coins for no reason, and we're gonna get stuck because that fish is in the way. And we're going to, spoilers, get to the Red Switch Palace from this level. And we want to make sure we let the, uh, Charge and Chuck, like, break all those, because that's going to help a lot. And we can just do this. This. <laughs> Boss. Okay, I don't, I don't need to be invincible, but okay. And... Again, hitting the microphone. Uh, we could've just ran through that guy, but you know. Oh. Come on. Up, Mario. Up. I never like swimming in the 2D Mario games, because getting out of water is so annoying, especially in Mario 3. But Mario 3 is the best game ever! Like, but no. Mario 3 uh, is, is, is good, but like, the swimming is so bad. It's not like they fixed it in the... 
Get up there, Mario! Mario needs some milk. I remember seeing that milk commercial when I was a kid. It's like, Mario, jump! And he's like, oh ho! It's like, what? Two piece switches? Oh my god. Juggle! <laughs> um. 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 <laughs> okay. I guess we're gonna have two P switches then. Would you get up there, Mario? Would you get up there? Thank you. We're also gonna hit the P switch again for no reason. But we're gonna take this key. I said we're gonna take this key. I'm gonna be tiny, but. Oh, gee, ah, oh, don't hit the fish! Don't, oh, look at that, the tip of the key. Open it up. And that opens the Red Switch Palace! I don't know what I said, it's like $1,000! Where's that from? I don't remember where's that from. You know, one thousand. And you can just die in a Switch Palace. As if I didn't think this could be embarrassing enough, I died in a Switch Palace. Oh, we can do this. This is more fun. There we go. Run it. Run it, Gerd! <laughs> well, at least I got the one up. Why am I hyperventilating? Okay, that's not funny. That's kind of disturbing. Trying to be funny is the best kind of funny. Hey guys, what about the latest pop culture trend? Please find me funny. And of course, Mario may be small, but that doesn't mean he can't spin jump. Oh. No Mario and the fireball, no big Mario. The blue switch palace, we're gonna have Mario with a cape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a, a, uh, goal. A goal? Well, and again, we spew out blocks. Of course we're gonna save, because we're Mario. Back in the vanilla ice dome. Um, oh yeah. It's worth mentioning vanilla ice, because probably every other LP are done it too. In this, in this world. <laughs> Remember that interview? It's like, no, their song goes dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Our goes dun 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 dun. I'm like, this is the same thing. You just added one note. Anyway, like I could make a Mario Bros. scene instead of going. I can make you go. Something like that. I don't know. And of course, we can't put the key in the hole. That's what she said. Um, but we can. God, can I shut up? No, I can't shut up. This is an LP. We have to keep talking. We have to... Oh, this level. And I almost got small. Get tiny. Anyway. Oh, that... He, ju he was jumping too high, so that was unfair. <laughs> he was jumping too high. Make up excuses. Excuses are the only thing keeping you from losing your virginity. What? I don't know. What was that saying again? Excuses are the building blocks that hold you back. Excuses are like Jenga. You pull one out, and then everything falls apart. Jenga. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying Jenga. That'd be bad. Well, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to take down your videos because he said Jenga. Oh, it's a good good thing I carried that shell, and it's a good thing I fell off, too. I would've never been able to enjoy these green bean jumping pads. I'm gonna call them green beans from now on. Green bean jumping pads. Like, no, they actually look more like peas. No, they don't look like peas. They look like green beans. It's like, what kind of green beans have you been eating? <laughs> not many. I'm not a too big fan of green beans. And we have 196 seconds left. No, it's 195. You're wrong. Jump on the Koopa. Oh, did you know Koopa in Polish means poop? Yeah, yeah, so we're jumping on poop. That was so random. Okay, I was wondering why it didn't scroll, because we were on the green beans. So we're gonna take the normal exit, which I think it's this one. It's like, oh... 
Ah! Man, I guess. I gotta stop sounding like I have a bowel movement every time I finish a level. That's getting old now. It's getting old. And we're going in the pipe. And what's in the pipe? Vanilla sea. Oh, this is the uh, the 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 the, the, the fortress. Yeah, you saw that there. Yeah, oh, I remember this. Okay, yeah, that's nice. We got oh, Yoshi. Freaking Yoshi. Okay, okay, okay. I, I guess I gotta say this now. I remember when I was little, well, not quite little, younger. I used to love these, like, Mario Flash Newgrounds thing. Oh. Like, yeah, it was funny. But looking back, they're so stupid. Well, not all of them, some of them are interesting. I just lost my cape. They were listening to me. Criticized them, and then, and then I died. Those Koopas, I think they made those flash animations. But you know, yeah, now it's 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 weird. Like, sheesh. I mean, you put like Yoshi's, especially. They're all crazy. They're like either they're smoking or like smoking. Like they're like, oh, Yoshi's high. Cause that one level in Mario World 2, where you touch the fuzzy, you're like, oh, 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 oh. like, oh, that's so funny, so funny. Anyway, it was pretty funny, though. No, but seriously, <laughs> uh, but no, but like, no, they're either smoke or they're really bloodthirsty. Yeah, I mean, she's supposed to be cute. It's like blah, 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 ripping apart like toads and stuff, like, or Mario, like, just killing everything because he felt like it. It's weird, I think, was it, was it Sun Studios that made that? Oh, shoot. No, because they made this really awesome Flash game called Armed with Wings, and it was so fun. Oh, it's one of, one of my favorite Flash game series, and I just grabbed the, the, uh, there's so much Koopa. So much Koopa. Anyway. Get the feather. Yeah, so that was flat. Oh, the... Halfway point, they're just pulling it up. Oh, and it's our first spiny. Surprisingly, first spiny. There's our lackey too in a pipe. He lost his cloud, but he's not wearing any clothes, so he's gonna stay in there. Oh, I get it. Oh, I thought there was a can. Oh, there's Babams. Babams. Did you know Babams first appeared in Mario 2? Yeah, everyone knew that. Who doesn't know that? Probably someone will comment, I didn't know that. Well, that's great. Oh, and this is the silver P switch. Silver P switches are something different. You hit them, enemies turn into coins. And you can just two up! Two up! I don't think I ever gotten a two up before. I've gotten one ups and three ups. I've never gotten a two up. Wow. About as fake as a three dollar bill. No, they're real. No, no, no. I have to do this. I have to do this. The fate of the world depends on it. That I that I stomp on these Koopas. Ah. At least I hit the tape with a nine. And I got a feather. That's nice. Whenever I get a feather, I feel pretty happy. Oh, this is gonna be a really long episode, isn't it? Oh yeah, we might. We might be able to squeeze three episodes out of this recording. <laughs>